Hello again, this is Oliver and welcome back to yet another video, short video where I explain different analysis techniques for Sudoku. If you like my videos, be sure and give me the thumbs up and you might think of subscribing as well, be greatly appreciated. Right, now this is one of the interesting ones. This is the X-Wing, also called Rows and Columns Double. And this is the classic X-Wing, the, the simple version of it. Now, the X-Wing is based on finding two and only two places where a possible can occur either in a row or a column, and then finding another row or column with the same two possibles in the same places, basically. And I've come across this example here, which is a nice one. If we look first at column nine, and you see the threes there in B9, and also H9. So they're the only two places that the tree can occur in that column. And what you do then is you run your eye along the other columns and just see in the same rows, do we also have a column that just has two threes? And if you run your eye along there, there's a lot of threes in column B or row B, and there's a lot of trees in row H. But if you come over to column column five, see column five? So there's a three in B5, there's a three in H5, and there are no other threes in those columns. So this is the classic X-Wing. And I'll just highlight them there. There's two of them there, and there's two of them here. Now then when you look across on the row, there are a lot of other trees along here, and there's a lot of other trees around here. But the main thing is to find this part first, where you just have two and just have two. Uh, we're saying that these, the bases here are columns, but this could happen just as easily where you start off with rows that just have two trees or whatever number in it. Now, just suppose this is a three. I'm gonna put it in there. Suppose that's a three. Then you can't have a three here. And if you don't have a three here, then you must have a three here. So this is, the x part, the diagonal of this square or this rectangle. So if you have three at one end of it, you will have three in the opposite side. And if, for example, we had the three here, if the three is there, then we can't have a three here, which means this must be a three. So again, you'd have this diagonal here. And that's the basic thing of the x-wing, you have this x. And what effect does that have? Well, it means that although we know that this or this is a three, well, we've just also shown that the diagonals follow each other. So if that's a three, then that's a three. If that's a three, then that's a three. So we can now look along the row and know that either this one or this one will always be a three. So we can get rid of all other threes on that row. That's basically it. And we can get rid of them here. Now, that's the classic X-Wing. There are variants of it which are even more powerful than that. And do you know what? I think I'll do those next. So till then, Slán Tamil. 